Hey, hey, Marcus House with you here, and this is what we have all been waiting for. The 9 meter wide and roughly 30 meter high Starship prototype, which is affectionately known as Serial Number 5 or SN5, was the first of this class of rocket to take up to the sky, proving once again the SpaceX team pushed beyond where the doubters thought possible. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. So yes, here it is here, what we've seen evolving right from Elon's presentation back in September last year under the first Mark I prototype, this stainless steel monster rocket called Starship. It has taken longer to get here than he had anticipated, but less than a year later, here we are, and this has all occurred over the last day. Just check this out. Three, two, one. With this flight, a moment that will go down in history has come and gone, and humanity has begun at last its journey into a strange, new, exciting future. SpaceX flew the reusable and full-scale Starship SN5 prototype that is of course fueled with liquid oxygen and liquid methane, and has one single Raptor engine. This is the only engine ever actively flown that is the holy grail of rocket engines, the full flow stage combustion cycle engine. The top of the rocket features a unique ballast made up of 23 or so metric tons of rolled steel to increase the stability of the vessel during this flight, along with more closely simulating the future upper section of the rocket to come, that being the sections such as the nose cone, added avionics, header tank, batteries and many other components that will make up the Starship. At 7pm on Tuesday August 4th, arising from the plume of dust and debris blasted from the launch stand, SN5 rode the pillar of fire as it gracefully moved up to its landing site. The official SpaceX YouTube channel shared with us an incredible Raptor perspective at the landing part of the flight. Now you will have seen a small fire here in the plumbing of the Raptor. Already the rumour mill suggests some debris was ignited in the intense heat of the rocket ignition. We'll wait for confirmation from SpaceX though before we can confirm anything like that. If you've spotted any more information about that let us know in the comments below. From what I've heard this didn't have any impact on the performance of the Raptor in any way. So as the Starship approaches the landing pad we see the landing legs descend and lock into position. From some vantage points out there, it was completely engulfed in the plume of smoke that arose from the launch. A few nervous seconds passed before the flight success was observed, and SN5 was right there, standing upright and quiet with the astounding success rippling through the space community. More information on the legs was announced over Twitter here as well, with Elon describing the next version of landing legs to come, saying that the version 1.1 legs will be around 60% longer, which will provide better cushioning for the touchdown. Version 2.0 legs will likely more closely resemble the design used so successfully on Falcon 9. The need for the upgrade here is obvious when we realise the places Starship is intended to land, the Moon, Mars and other bodies throughout the solar system and of course back here on Earth. The landing locations will not be beautifully smooth levelled concrete like we see here. No matter the achievement, SpaceX's DNA seems driven to step beyond what only days ago was a dream. It was of course predicted that this would be SN5's one and only flight. I suspect it'll get retired away with the Starhopper and then SN6 will very soon roll out to take its place. The abundance of nose cones around Boca Chica's site and the likely stacked nose cone here for SN6 may undertake flights to greater heights very soon. The next test flight beyond short hops within a few kilometres in altitude will likely fall to the SN8. Stacking of this vehicle is expected to commence in the next week or so and maybe with the full flaps and aero surfaces needed for the controlled belly flop and landing that we have seen in many of the animations. What do you think though? Let me know in the comments below. In the lead up to all of this of course we saw the preparations for the flight. Some majestic sunrise footage earlier in the week captured by Mary and NASA spaceflight as we begin to explore
explore the weekly goings on around the construction site since the weekend. A lot of work has been going on with the components for serial number 8 which we'll cover in much more detail in this weekend's video. Meanwhile SN5 was continuing to wait patiently for its chance to hop. Both Monday and early Tuesday of course we saw the attempts at this flight with both coming all the way down to the wire before they were aborted, detanked and then readied for the following successful attempt. Issues with those attempts were reported by Elon as problems with a Raptor turbo pump spin start valve not opening correctly. Of course it wasn't only SpaceX filming this amazing hop, we had the amazing 4K quality footage from Lab Padre. I can't understate just how much this service Lab Padre is offering helps this community. Thanks very much for all of the work you're doing there. It really is an incredible setup streaming 24-7 and you need to go and check out the full quality flight from there. Tim Dodd the everyday astronaut with S Padre there as well also capturing it from another incredible angle. Just look at the detail there. Boca Chica Gal and NASA spaceflight from another angle again. Just magic and I'm not going to show these in full detail and quality. There are links to all of those sources in the description. Please do go and check out and support everybody on site capturing all of this amazing footage. This is a testament to how amazing these people are. This is Team Space here giving us all unprecedented coverage from all these angles and it is all provided as an incredible record of this history in the making. Now if you want to know more about the previous versions of the Starship and the huge effort it took to get to where we are here today, I talk more in depth about that in this video. If you love this sort of space news and everything that comes with that, please do consider subscribing and taking a second to tap that like button. There is loads more news coming and I can't wait to share it all with you. Now we are witnessing a fundamental change in the evolution of humanity here. That might sound like an exaggeration, but if this vessel can achieve all it's intending to achieve with the future versions of the Starship and the even more astounding super heavy booster, we will not only be lowering the cost of sending a huge volume of equipment into space for a tiny fraction of what we can now, but we will truly become a multi-planet species. From there, who knows? On this momentous day, I think it's timely to think about what the SpaceX team have achieved. They built a rocket being designed for future missions to Mars out of rolls of stainless steel. Intense. And it made a smooth launch, a controlled flight, and landed safely in a configuration that will soon morph into the full Starship. Truly a remarkable feat. Now just quickly, a huge thank you to my amazing patrons here. I simply can't do what I'm doing here without you. Your generous support has allowed me to increase the time I can spend on this content and I can't thank everyone enough for that. Further help just allows me to do it even more. If you like what I do and would like to join our awesome patrons here, head to patreon.com slash marcushouse. You can interact with me much more directly via the included roles in Discord. You can check out some exclusive early content and you can also have your name listed right here like all of these other incredible people. A massive thank you as well to my quality control squad here for helping me research and proof all of the material for these videos. If you're interested in these topics and would like to be a part of it, follow me on Twitter and please do get in touch. Today in the tile in the bottom left is my video last week talking about the incredible Mars 2020 mission with the amazing assistance of Tony Bella's incredible work. In the top right is my latest video and in the bottom right content that YouTube has selected from my channel just for you. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.